If you are off to Tasmania for your next holiday, then you have come to the right place to find out where to head for the unique cafes around Tasmania. Let's start from Raspberry Cafe. This is a great family friendly cafe, a 30 minute drive from Devonport towards Launceston. It is a cafe with a lake view deck with seasonal dishes, often with a raspberry twist. They have indoor and outdoor seating and have a fireplace that is great during winter. The House of Anvers is a chocolate lover's heaven. A selection of tasters are available to tempt you in the tasting center and shop. They also offer weaving windows so you can see the factory in action. The cafe specializes in chocolate, Belgian style, breakfast and lunch. Ashgrove Cheese Dairy Dough. This is one of the finest cheese experiences you can get in Tasmania. They offer cheese tasting plates and take home products, breakfast and lunch options. If you are interested to see how cheese is made, you can see the factory in action behind the glass windows during weekdays. Pancake Train Restaurant. This was not on our bucket list till we visit Margate. It is located in several train carriages in stationary Margate train, right next to the highway. They offer indoor and outdoor seating with breakfast options and pancakes in different toppings. It was fun and yummy experience. The Pondering Frog Cafe Ice Creamery is open for your convenience from 8 am and it is more than an ice cream shop. It is located in a unique property offering all day breakfast. This is easy to find if you are traveling in East Coast Tasmania. There is a parking lot for camper vans where you can stay for few days. The cafe owners are very friendly and give assistance and advice with your travel planning. 41 South Salmon is a salmon farm, wetland and ginseng plantation near Delorie. The farm is a family owned business, grows salmon in natural conditions and also have an organic ginseng plantation. It's a great place to have breakfast and morning walk to the waterfall in the property. You can also take a self-guided walking tour of the salmon farm and wetland. Old Mac Cafe. This is a warm and inviting place near Launceston city. A unique cafe to have breakfast with stunning views and visit to the animal nursery and walk around the paths. <coughs> Salmon Ponds and the Museum of Trout Fishing. This is a great little place to stop for a meal and family day out. The garden is well cared for and beautiful. You can feed fish in the ponds. The restaurant's on site is a bit busy so you might have to book a table if you go for lunch. Charlie's Desert House This is a fantastic desert cafe in the heart of Launceston that is open to late most evenings. 
They offer a huge selection of cakes, pies, slices and treats to choose from. The portions are quite large so you can definitely share if you are not a dessert lover. Springfield Amish Tea Room this is a real working Amish farm that has little tea room area where they serve homemade pies, jam, lovely fabrics and lots of other goodies. Plenty of choices for a lovely lunch, morning tea or an afternoon tea. It is closed on Sundays and Mondays and open for a limited time every day and all sales are cash only. Cheese and Beer Company Bruni Island offers tasting tours with cheese tasting and a chance to learn more about process of making different types of cheese. They have put lot of effort into design of the outdoor gardens that tops off the experience. Get shocked Bruni Island. This is the first stop once you get off the ferry to Bruni Island and the best place for a great variety of oysters. There are multiple choices of flavor and we recommend getting the mixed deal which is a bargain. I hope you enjoyed this tasty episode of Tasmania and there are few more to come as there is a lot to do in this wonder island and we'll see you in next episode.